AI is coming for video editing, but in a good way. I think there's lots of new AI tools that are gonna make video editing much easier and much more accessible to a lot more people. And the one I wanted to show you in this video is called Pictory AI. And it could basically edit videos using only the text file. So this is really good for a video that I'm doing like right now. It could transcribe my video into text. I make edits to that text document and then I get an output on the video side without actually touching the video file. And because of this update, it's gonna make video editing a lot more accessible and it's gonna save people like me a ton of time for video editing. So let me show you exactly how Pictory works in this tutorial as far as editing with text. They do have other options too that I'll point out as we go through. But I'll put a link in the description to this website. You could sign up totally for free and then you could upgrade your account if you want more credits. Once you log into your accounts, you're going to see this page. Basically, it has four main things that it could do inside of Pictory. Script to video is one of the most powerful ones where you could basically take a video script, so any text file, and turn it into a video. I have a different video about how this works. You also have article to video works the same way, visual to video works similar ways, but edit video from text is what I wanna show you here. So I'm gonna press proceed. And you have two options. You could give it a YouTube link or you could upload your video or audio file here. I'm gonna upload a video that is just a screen recording of a tutorial on Pictory that I did before about the other functions that it has. And then I'm gonna press proceed right here. Number of speakers, it's just going to be one speaker, it's just me talking. And then it's gonna upload the video and it's gonna transcribe the audio. So you do obviously need someone talking. You can't do this with videos that don't have any type of a talking track. In this case, it was a talking head video, instructional tutorial based video, so it's gonna work. Let me show you what happens after it's uploaded. Now, once the video is uploaded, you typically get an email too to let you know it's been uploaded if it's a long file like mine was about 13 minutes and 41 seconds. And as you see on the left side, it's created a transcription, and on the right side, this is your video where you could press play on it. Two things I'm gonna show you before I show you how to make the edits to the text. One is, right here it says remove silences. I'm gonna click this and any silences that is more than one second, that's what I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna press okay. And look at that, now my video is at 11 minutes and 51 seconds. Now this would be kind of jarring though if you have a talking head video, right? It's gonna have a lot of cuts to it, but for a screen capture, it's a great tool right here. Next, I could also remove filler words. Those are words like uh, um, for example. I could remove those with one click. And then next, I wanna come over here and make edits. So this is how this works. Now, if I made a mistake, look, right here, I said this sentence and I said it again, right? So the first one, I definitely wanna take out. So I could select that sentence and it says remove from video, okay? I'm gonna press that. And just like that, you remove the four seconds that sentence was from the video. So I have not so far touched the video at all. I literally could go through the text file. And again, I could see, let me show you the top 10. Let me show you the top 10. So these are all extra. I keep repeating myself here because I made a mistake. I could press delete. And on my 11 and 32. I could also always press play right here. I'll have it on mute right now, but I'll press play. And it's gonna play and go along with the text, right? So I need to know where I make a mistake, I don't just have to do it on the text file, I could listen, it's gonna follow along, then I could select any part I want like this. Look here, I said testing, testing, that doesn't make sense, so I'll delete that section as well, and it's made that edit for me, and it's gonna keep showing me the time. Now, the caption is also created by default, so you could actually make changes to this. Now, let me show you some more advanced things once you actually start editing, you have all the right stuff. So here, you could turn the subtitle on or off, you can make it more than one line if you want. So one line, two lines, you can press play. And down here you have an entire template library so you could change the way your subtitles looks with just one click. You just click it and it's gonna change the subtitle just like that, okay? So you have a ton of different options. And this is where it gets a lot more interesting. I could press customize video right over here, okay? This is gonna bring me to a whole new page and this page lets me put things over my video file. So this is good if I had a talking head, I made a lot of cuts to it. I wanna add what's called B-roll, basically a second video track to hide those edits. So let me show you exactly how this works. And by the way, this auto saves for you. So at no point you need to worry about saving. This is gonna save all the changes and you could see them under my project as you do more edits. 
But right here, what it does is breaks up your video into different scenes. So you can see scene one, scene two, scene three. And down here, it also shows them visually, scene one, scene two, scene three. Anytime I could go to any of those scenes, if I wanna remove them from here now, I could press delete by selecting the different scenes or from here, I could select them and press delete. That's one option, that's your delete option right over here. And what I could do is add visual. So I could go to the visual tab right over here. And then what I could do is actually search for different things. So AI tools, for example, I could select that. This video is more about AI. And what I could do is I could basically lay any video clips like this over my existing video. So let me just select one right here. And it's going to add it to this same scene. So scene one is gonna get this video file. So now everything I'm saying is still being said. The voiceover from my video file is still the voiceover, but this is now what's called B-roll, a video laying on top of my voice and the previous video. And it changed it to multiple different scenes here. Anytime I could remove the visual and change it with my existing one or add something else from my video library. That just happened to be in one section. So we added it because of the length of the video file. So I'll select another one. This time I'll add it to scene five. And you can see just scene five got that visual, then it's gonna to go to scene six, which was my original video file. So this is really easy to basically add all these visuals. You also have elements. Elements are really cool. These are animated GIFs, for example, or stickers and emojis. So you have all these different options available here. You could also add a different audio track that is a music track. Maybe your video just had a talking head, not uh, audio, so you could add that. And under the voiceover tab, you also have AI generated voiceover. So you could actually turn your script into AI generated voiceover instead of your own voice or whoever's voice was on the original video. Really, really interesting. All you have to do is preview the voice and then you could press apply and it's gonna replace the voiceover with that now. Anytime I wanna preview my entire video, I could press preview right on top. It's gonna generate a preview window. Now this depends if you used voiceover or not. If you use AI voiceover, this takes a bit longer. And then it's gonna show you your video with all the changes that you've made, including your caption file, any B-roll you've added, any stickers, and everything else we did in the editing page too. And then when you're happy with your project, it's been saved, but you need to download it if you wanna post it somewhere else. So go to download and then go to video right here. And then it's gonna process your scenes. In a second, when it's generating the video file, it's gonna run it in the background. You could click this and you can move on with everything else that you're doing. You can make a new project, work on an existing one. And that's all it takes using AI to edit videos using text. I hope you found it useful. I do have a whole course coming out on Pictory with everything it has to offer. So I'll link that below if you wanna sign up and I'll see you next time.